sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone to be able to experience new horizons new things with new people hey journeys where y'all been i'm back with another video i know it's been a minute and i know y'all probably sitting over there like girl i know you're not coming on this camera smiling in our face and it's been a month since you posted a video however your girl is back i contemplated totally coming off of youtube entirely but something in my heart was just like girl stop playing <laughs> so here we are for another video yeah let's get into it today i wanted to come and talk to you guys about my experience through online dating versus dating in person and i just wanted to share with y'all a little bit about my journey and how i've come this far and how i was able to meet the love of my life online okay so for y'all who don't know i came up in the era of social media actually being released so in my early days of being on the internet we were in a dial-up era i used to get these aol cds so i can get minutes to be able to get online and it started with the im it started with the chat and that eventually evolved into forums like tumblr and black planet over time we then got myspace and bebo so on and so forth but now here we are in a very video driven video content creation driven social media space where we have tiktok instagram youtube beyond that people still organically send dms and emails believe it or not and so that's actually how i met my person it all started with the email and i know y'all probably didn't know that every single person that i have dated after my college boyfriend at the time i met them online through youtube my email and then us eventually linking up so my last three relationships have been relationships that i made online and then i also had one connection that i made through online dating site but i really didn't have a long stretch with the online dating site so once i finished up with school however i would say that like when i was in my college days i was way more active so i definitely know that some people really really value the traditional dating experience where you're out in public you lock eyes with somebody y'all both have this energy that you're feeling each other you either make a comment make a remark or make a compliment towards them and y'all kind of exchange information from there but that has not been my reality you guys i don't get played like that in the real world i'm not trying to downplay myself or anything like i might get people to look at me but i never got people in the real world to come up to me ask me for my phone number or anything like that where i feel like i get the most action and traction would be online and i honestly don't know if i would ever meet somebody in the traditional dating sense again so i want to suppose the question to y'all do you believe that online dating is the new era of dating and meeting people in person is a thing of the past also are you opposed to online dating because you value the traditional way of meeting somebody in person and connecting with them in that way y'all let me know in the comment section down below as to what y'all think but here's my thoughts i feel like it is depending on so many factors everything in life is conditional so i don't want this to be like this one size fits all over generalization of what this world is like however i do want to say that with the rise of social media and the internet we have become so accustomed to being able to have access and connectivity with people in many many places all over the world so when i had a drought in my hometown in my city when it related to talking to people i had this feeling of there's really nobody here that matches my level that's on my level that i can really click with and connect with like that how about i spread my net a little further and dating online allows you to be able to do that and since you can do that your options stretch way way further i know 
have the advantage of living in a city and I know that people who live in remote and rural areas may not have this advantage, especially if you are in the LGBT community, the pickings can be slim. And sometimes you're not even sure where somebody stands with their orientation. However, online dating is definitely an option when you feel like your pickings are slim within your own hometown and it may be of benefit to you. So for me, I was able to connect with somebody who was in my city, but also was from another state. So with that being said, I was able to engage with them and learn more things about their walk of life that really didn't look like my immediate surroundings, which can be very enriching for you. And if you're a girl of the world like me, you could also possibly meet people from other countries which is also wild to think about. I know a lot of people are like, how in the world do you date somebody that lives in a totally different country? But it can be done with the access that we have to Wi-Fi and FaceTime and sending text messages back and forth. It can be done with a little bit of work and a little bit of dedication. You have to be honest and upfront. And that's one thing about online dating that I can say is one of those caveats that you never know what you're going to get, okay? There is a possibility of you being catfished. There is a possibility of somebody putting on a facade to be one thing and in real life they're actually not. However, I think those things still exist in the real world outside of the internet. I feel like people that you meet at different places depending on where it is that you go they could present a certain way towards you and they could be lying and not living up to those expectations so i know a lot of people are reserved around the fact that like okay it's a possibility that the person that's being presented to me is actually not who i'm really really talking to and over the course of time you get to unpeel their layers and learn about them and you'll find that mm, this is not what i expected but i feel like it can happen on both sides in either way so i wouldn't allow the possibility of somebody being a fake phony catfish liar to deter you from being open to the possibility that online dating could be beneficial for you. Beyond that, I think that dating in general challenges you to show up in a certain way that is really true to yourself. I know for people who feel like there's this certain that girl image or this certain image of what you're supposed to be like to be considered attractive and be considered magnetic. And I think that I came into my current relationship with that same mentality. I had this idea in my mind around the type of girl that I saw for my partner. And to be honest, you guys, I didn't see that girl as me. When we was out together, after the, we've gotten to the point where we're seeing each other in person and we're linking up, I will often like look in our reflection in the store windows and be like, we don't look like a couple. We just look like friends. And it took me some months to really see us as a couple because I had this idea in my head around the type of person that I thought my partner would like. And I started to build my character around that. What I can tell y'all is it was probably one of the biggest mistakes that I made in my relationship that I had to slowly unravel over time. It really wasn't fair to my partner for me not to be upfront. Not saying like showing them all of my flaws and like telling them everything about me, but it wasn't okay to present in this way that was like rosy colored, just very fabricated initially to make them like me. What I found is that my partner actually liked me for who it was that I am. And I didn't have to be somebody else. If I was somebody else, then I wouldn't be me. So that's my tip on when you're dating online. Don't feel like you have to live up to this standard of whatever the trend is that girls are supposed to be like in the time that you are dating. You will get to know that person. That person will articulate to you what it is that they want. And they will also tell you what it is that they're attracted to and what it is that they're into and vice versa. Y'all gotta make a list. 
Now, I'm not talking about a checklist that's very, very extensive and longer than any list that you can think about because we can have a tendency to go in with these checklists of deal breakers supposedly of what we want and what we don't want. And a lot of times those checklists don't really serve us. A lot of times it's really about what it is that you need in a relationship, not what it is that you want. And I feel like a lot of our wants that we put on checklists pulls us away from the person that can actually be very, very evolutionary for who it is that we are becoming. So don't allow yourself to stay stuck in the ideas around what you think you're supposed to be like and what you think they're supposed to be like. All in all, y'all, I am a online dating advocate. I definitely had my experiences with online dating that did not come out favorable for me, but they did teach me some things about what it is that I wanted for myself and what it is that I didn't want for myself sometimes you just have to try sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone to be able to experience new horizons new things with new people so don't allow the past or the way in which things have always been to deter you from trying something new and also if you feel like you was jaded by somebody or you got played by somebody that you met online don't totally obliterate the possibility that you could possibly meet your person online okay so y'all be strong out there i know the dating pool ain't what it used to be Somebody said that it's just a puddle full of shit, vomit, and pee. If y'all agree, give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below how this dating game has been going for you. I'm just happy to be out of it. And for y'all who have been feeling discouraged as of lately, Valentine's Day has just passed. And let me tell you, love is in the air, okay? Love is in the air. So if that's something that you want for yourself, that's something that you believe for yourself, keep working on you, mama. And sometimes they come when you least expect it. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all got any ideas on what it is that y'all want to see from me next, what it is that y'all want me to post, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I do have the links to my daily vlogs that I do post on my membership channel, which is linked in the comment section down below as well. If y'all like audio content, so more in-depth conversations just like this one, go and check out my podcast. It's called Journey Free Podcast. We are currently in season three. We talk about my life experiences through conversation. It's a vibe over there or whatever, okay? A very, very intimate space for the A1s and the day ones. So come on over and check me out. All are welcome to converse, engage, and share. I'm um, thanking you so, so much for taking the time to watch this video and until next time i hope that y'all have a amazing week ahead oh yeah you can connect with me on social media i'll like screen you to see if i really want you to be on my social media but i do have social media that's in the description box down below and uh t if you watching this i saw your comment on my other video so send me a request again because i want you back in the community okay <laughs> bye journeys